Hi, hello, I'm Drake and I'm speaking to you today from Dartmoor, one of our greenhouses here. And um, what I wanted to discuss uh, in this video is container planting and in particular vegetable container planting. And a few people have been asking about it, so here goes. Now, container planting, it's a real state of mind because ultimately we all are familiar with a plant in a plant pot and it's a container. So, but when we talk about container planting, we're tending to look at larger containers. And because we're talking about uh, vegetables, obviously something that's going to produce something you can harvest. And so what I've got around me at the moment is a, a few different things that are all going to either go in containers or already are in containers and doing really quite well. So these might be things you might like to try out at home. So the first thing I'm going to draw your attention to is just behind me here. And in this, um, um, basically it's a window box. Um, it's a, uh, a terracotta one, but we've got one further down the line that's, that's a metal one. You can get plastic ones. They come in all shapes and sizes. And those, we've just grown peas. Um, so it's they don't really need to be in the uh, greenhouses, but this is our cold frame greenhouse. So it's, it's a cool greenhouse. So they do really, really well. Um, so we'll have lovely peas. And one of the things that's great about peas um, is that you get to be able to use its shoots in a salad as well as encouraging it to um, grow and branch out. Obviously not too much pinching off the shoots, otherwise you won't get any peas at all, but you can have a little bit. So they're, they're fun. And they just grow up a frame against the window and they're happy as Larry. And I've under, under planted those um, with, um, with, with lettuce. And this is a, a come and pick me variety of lettuce. And they're, yeah, a super easy thing to grow. And in fact, I've got talking to kind of crazy containers, but this is an old um, can and it's just been turned into a little salad garden. So there's a little portable thing. It's your own little garden and, you know, they want light. So that's important, but um, but they, they do really well. So um, going on to what the, what the actual requirements are for a container garden, they're pretty much like you'd find anywhere, but they have um, a restricted ecosystem, if you like, what they're growing in, in particular. And so they're reliant on, on basically food and water. And so you need to watch out for both of those things that you're container planting. Don't let plants dry out. Um, some plants can cope okay with them, like if you've got a container of mint, then it, what it does, it adapts by becoming smaller leaved and a little bit more intense in flavour actually. So they do really well. Lemon balm is another one that does really well in a container. Um, but other things really do need a little bit more caring and attention. So I've got something here like a courgette and it's just in its plant pot right now. But that's going to go into a container about this size, which is about 40 litre one. And the thing that I need to look out for with these is actually that they are more susceptible to diseases if they um, go thirsty. So, and they are a thirsty plant. So um, you, what you can end up with, things like mildew, especially if the atmosphere is a little bit humid. Um, so you need to be conscious of that. So with something like a courgette, if you're putting it on the patio, for example, uh, you'd want to let it have a good air circulation around it uh, and keep it well watered and um, you know and it might need a little bit of food depending on what you put in the pot but um, they'll be fine but if you let if you let them dry out if you don't let them have a good air circulation they're susceptible to mildew so there are many many things with different plants that have different needs and requirements um, an easy, easy schmeasy one in a way, um, although it's not for everybody, um, growing tomatoes. And this has just been transplanted from a, a two litre pot like this into a, a, a 40 litre pot. And that'll be its final um, resting place, if you like, that, that will be growing on from there. This is a very large um, F1 um, hybrid and it it's actually produces quite large fruit. Um, so with that kind of plant, it's going to need a, a lot of support. And um, I'm going to be growing that in the in this greenhouse, in the hot greenhouse, and in the rather damaged polytunnel. And I'm going to see which ones do best where, um, as an indicator, just really 
how to progress with this because this is my favorite tomato and uh, it's the most flavorful flavorsome tomato um, i've referenced that before in previous videos so there we go that's tomatoes for you um, and then the um, final thing I'd really just like to say about um, container planting is just about the soil structure. So what you probably don't want to do is just use some soil from, you know, from your garden or from somewhere nearby, um, because, mainly because it can have lots of weed seeds in it. And also it can have a lot of um, pathogens in it, which, which, you know, may be fine in a garden environment. But once you containerize it, things can get out of whack and, and it has more of an impact on the plant. So what the ideal situation is, is to get some um, compost that's, that's been thoroughly composted um, or you buy some ready made in a bag that's more sterile. And um, so that's the first thing about it. And also if you're planting really um, greedy, 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 greedy plants, then you might want to put something, you know, depending on the variety, if they're a deep rooted one, they're going to get to the bottom, put something really nutritious down there. If they're more surface rooty, then you might want to get some of the, um, um, comp sorry, some of the fertilizer that you can get in little granules. There's some nice organic ones around. And they last for like six weeks. You just scatter a few around and, and that really keeps your plant healthy. You can, of course, make your own. Da -da! And I'll talk about that in another video. And that'll be nettle and comfrey and, and, and so on that we'll, we'll make into teas, which are good for plants. And, and then the final thing about just the final, there's always one more thing, uh, light, light. Um, so if you're in a particular area that's exposed, then yes, light will be part of that exposure. Wind might be part of that exposure as well, of course. Um, but just treat your plants, you know, they're in pots. Like they, they just need that little bit more care, um, except for those that don't, of course. Um, but, um, but that's always, always the case. There's always a caveat to everything. Anyway, I hope all of that has been of um, some value. And I thank you very much for your listening. And I hope you have a really great day and I will speak to you again soon.